every day people get hurt doing the job or on the job. I'm gonna give you six most important things you need to know if such an injury occurs to you or your loved ones. I'm Dr. Lipinski with Strive Physical Therapy and Pain Management. First, know your rights. Not sure about all the other states, but in New York, every employee is covered by work compensation insurance. Yes, every employee is covered. Makes no difference whether you're working on for check or cash. Makes no difference whether you're legal in the United States or illegal in the United States. Your legality status is irrelevant. And how the employer pays you is also irrelevant. As long as you have a job, your employer must purchase a work compensation insurance to cover you for any injuries or accidents that occur at the job or during the job. Now, work compensation insurance is responsible to cover you to fully restore your health. Yes, there's a work compensation insurance that is set aside to cover you to fully recover from any injuries that occur to you during your work hours or at your job site. Whether you continue doing your regular duty or you switch to an easier duty or different duty while you're recovering, it makes no difference you are allowed to get medical help and fully recover from any of those injuries. Number two, if you sustain an injury during or because of your work duties, you have to report that injury. It's very important for your employer to be notified of the injury that occurred and for them to document it. It will help to establish the work compensation case for you. So whether you felt symptoms right away or you develop those symptoms later on, same day, the next day, or even few days from that point, you should go to your employer and report it. And they have to make a record of that injury. Number three, try to seek the medical help soon. Do not wait days or weeks. If you're in pain, if you get hurt in a job, try to get the medical evaluation. A medical professional needs to document your physical condition as soon as it's possible. It doesn't mean that you need to rush to emergency room. But if you sustain an injury and you're in pain, please try to see whether it's your medical doctor or a specialized clinic that specializes in traumas and rehabilitation, or you're going to urgent care center or in a hospital and get primary evaluation first. It's important for medical team to document your medical condition and their opinion about your injury as soon as possible. Now, often we see injuries that occur through months or years of time, and those injuries considered to be repetitive injuries. It's still a part of a work-related injuries since those injuries occur because of repetitive traumas, micro traumas that you get every day on your job duties. For example, somebody lifts the boxes all day long. They bend, they extend, they push. They bend, they extend, they pull. Those injuries can slowly accumulate one on top of the other, creating micro traumas, for example, in your spine, causing through the months or weeks or years of those injuries, traumas to your discs, traumas to the muscles, the ligaments, the joints of your spine and they also considered to be work-related injuries. Now, they have to be reported a certain way, and definitely if you start feeling the aches and pains, you should talk to your employer regarding those symptoms and definitely seek medical help as well. It's a little bit different process to establish that case as a work-related injury case, but a right professional with the right experience definitely knows how to do this. Number four, pick the right doctor and pick the right clinic. Why is it so important? Practicing for 25 years, I can tell you that work-related injuries is a separate science. It's uh, pretty complicated and pretty complex. And you need to know the ins and outs of how to establish the case and how to navigate through a lot of bureaucracy and uh, underwater obstacles to give your patient the best care. So it's important for you to find the right clinic that specializes not only in rehabilitation, but specializes in dealing with work-related injuries and dealing with work-related injury cases, working with those patients on a regular basis, and giving the patients the care and getting through the obstacles of giving the patients that care. It's also important to find a clinic that can give you the most comprehensive care. For example, in our clinic, we have different specialists working together, treating the same patients for a variety of symptoms. We have an interventional pain management doctor that deals with you know, acute and chronic pain. We have a physiatrist who specializes in disability, which comes extremely important in dealing with work-related injury cases because a lot of these people 
people often become disabled, especially due to the chronic repetitive injuries that occur every day in jobs. We have a team of physical therapists, a chiropractor, a bunch of therapists that can give you a very comprehensive rehabilitation approach to address most of the problems that occur, physical problems. And we also work with the great psychiatry team that can address the issues of you no know, chronic pain and depression that often arises as a result, as well as the great orthopedic teams that can help us if the surgical cases arises. So with that in mind, it's very important to find not only specialists who understands the work compensation and how to work it, it's important to find a clinic that gives you the best and most comprehensive care to deal with any of your symptoms and any of your injuries. Number five, patients are often asked, do I need an attorney? And the answer is yes, you should have a legal representation. Now, work compensation cases are very different from the other personal injury cases like slip and fall or no fall cases when you're involved in car accidents. It's important to have a legal representation and important to have a lawyer who can ensure that you get the most benefits from having the work compensation insurance. As I said, there's a lot of obstacles. There's a lot of bureaucracy. Attorneys there to ensure that you get the most out of your insurance. They're there to ensure that you get paid for the days you couldn't work. They're there to ensure that you get the best treatment possible. And they're also there to ensure that at the end of the day, if you still have a certain disability, you get compensated long-term for that disability. So my advice is always, Yes, definitely get an attorney, get a good law firm that specifically deals with work-related injuries. And there are firms like that. And we always recommend to our patients a couple of those firms to pick from specifically so they have the right legal representation. It also helps us to give them the best care because often, you know how insurance companies are. They really don't want to pay even if they have to. So with the help of attorney, we get significantly better results and giving you the best benefits we can give. Question number six. Often people ask, can I continue working even though I'm getting medical care? The answer is absolutely yes. Now, if you are capable of still performing the job that you were performing before you got injured, then yes, you can continue your job while you're getting help, while you're getting treatment, while you're recovering. Now, if you cannot continue the job, if the job interferes with your healing process, if the job gives you significantly more pain, discomfort, and you really cannot physically perform the job, then you are right to take a break while you're recovering. And generally, the work compensation insurance will be covering you for the days and month or even sometimes years that you could not work. But if you can go back to work and continue your job, you should absolutely do that. And by the way, we see often companies that are trying to assist the employees that are recovering from the injury and maybe giving them some easier jobs. For example, if somebody had a physical work lifting, now they cannot give them desk duties. If such jobs available, that's always great. That keeps you working, keeps you getting your income and while you recovering and restoring your health. So the answer is yes, you can continue working, assuming you're capable of doing the job you can. And by the way, some clinics that specialize in work-related injuries, including our clinic, have the special program, work hardening program, that prepares you to return to work. We actually try to mimic the situation and physical activity that your job requires and slowly creating the exercise routines that slow Slowly bringing you to the point of physical ability versus disability. So if you are being treated for work-related injuries in one of the clinics, please inquire if they have work hardening program in their regimen. If you get hurt in a job and you live in New York, you are fully covered to recover from any of those physical conditions. So find the right clinic, get a good attorney, and start your recovery process. And if you have any questions that we're not covering in this video, send us a question We'll be happy to cover it in the near future. Thank you for watching this video. Please give us a thumb up. This way we know that what we're doing is not for nothing.